If we're to fight our battles, we're to fight them God's way. We're to fight them on our knees, recognizing that we have this awesome God who is willing to get engaged in our fight, no matter what it is, and he's willing to see us through it. It says, you have not because you ask not. That means prayer causes things to happen that wouldn't happen if you didn't pray. If you want to have an effective prayer life, you must trust God. You must trust His power, but you also must trust His purpose, and His promise, and His plans, and His will. In other words, you have to trust that He knows better than you do. When your faith, okay, God, I'll trust you, intersects with His faithfulness, now watch what I'm going to do. Life changes. When your faith intersects with His faithfulness, He comes alive in your life. It gets really, really, really personal. At times it even gets emotional because finally it's relational. What is faith? The reception of the gospel, confidence in God and His Word, being confident of this very thing, a total dependence on Christ for our forgiveness and for the fulfillment in our lives. When you step in and take charge without Praying and being led by the Spirit of God, you do not trust. Folks, we have power in prayer. We still have power in prayer. We always did and always will. How are you going to make it? My God shall supply my every need. How are you going to go through? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. It's written. It's written. It's written, it's in the book, it's in the Bible. All you have to do is take out your Bible and say, where are you, devil? Come on, devil, let's get it on. Let's get it on.